Hey everyone and welcome back to daily tuition. In this video, we're going to understand how to create this two-step verification page design using HTML and CSS. I'm going to show you how to create this glass morphism effect using CSS and create this beautiful page. You can use this page for two-factor authentication. So let's take a look at how to create this beautiful page using HTML and CSS. So I'm going to open the Visual Studio Code Editor and open an empty folder inside it. Here I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to say new folder and specify name to this folder assets. Here I'm going to add all the images of this page. Just after that inside this project I'm going to create two files. So I'm going to click on this new file icon and say index.html. Then I'm going to create a new file again and specify style.css. Just after that let me just back to the index.html and create a simple html5 snippet by pressing exclamation mark and press tab. When I press tab I'm going to have a simple html5 snippet. Here I'm going to say two factor authentication or you can say two-factor auth. Just start that. Here I'm going to add a link to link the style.css. So I'm going to just say here style.css. Once I link my style.css in the body I'm going to add h1 heading tag and here I'm going to say two-step verification. Let me save the changes and open this file in the live server. I already have live server extension installed so I'm going to right click here and say open with live server. Live server is an extension you can install in the Visual Studio Code editor. Just click on it and this will just open this file in the live server. Let me just toggle the window on the right side of the screen just like this. And now let me design this page first. So in the body here I'm going to start with the main section. So let me just create here a command and say main section. So here I'm going to create a section tag with the id main site. And inside this section I'm going to create a class. And I'm going to just add different section inside this class. I'm going to create here a div with the class glass. If you want, you can change this class name and specify whatever you want. That's upon you. Just out of that, here I'm going to create the title. So I'm going to say here a command and say title. So here I'm going to create a division tag with the class title. Inside this div, I'm going to add all the title of this page. So here I'm going to grab this h1 heading tag and paste it here like this. Just out of that, I'm going to create here img tag and add image inside it. Let me just first save the changes and now let me add images inside this project. So I'm going to add images inside this asset folder. So I'm going to copy my images and paste it inside this asset folder. Don't worry you can download all these images from the description. Now once I have my images let me just use it. So just down here I'm going to create an image tag and specify source attribute. Inside this source I'm going to just specify asset folder and then specify two-factor authentication image like this. Save the changes and as you can notice I have this image here. I'm going to specify styling to this image after a few seconds. But just for now I'm going to leave everything as it is and just after this image I'm going to add here a paragraph and specify text here. So I'm going to just add here a text. We've said a verification code to. Let me save the changes. Just down here you can notice you have your paragraph. Just out of that, just after this paragraph, I'm going to create another paragraph and specify here a number. So here is the message. We've sent the verification code to this number. So I'm going to add here a number plus 91 and then I'm going to specify asterisk and then display last two digit. Just out of that, just after this div, I'm going to create a new command and say form. So here I'm going to add a form where the user can specify their OTP. So I'm going to just specify here form and specify h4 heading tag inside this form. And I'm going to just specify here a message. Enter your OTP code here. And just after that, let me save the changes. Here you can notice I have this text here. And just out of this h4 heading tag, here I'm going to create a div with a class call. And inside it, I'm going to say input. It is a type text and specify class form control. Let me duplicate this input type four times because I'm going to send four numbers as OTP because I'm going to send four digit as OTP. So I'm going to add here four input elements. Just start that. Just out of this div. Right down here inside this form I'm going to create a call class again and specify a button and it is a type of submit button. So you can submit your OTP number. Just out of that, here I'm going to specify class to this button which is BTN 
and specify here text verify just out of that just out of this div if the otp is not received to the user i'm going to create here a division tag with a class padding y1 i'm going to create all these classes after a few minutes but just for now just add this class to this div then add a paragraph and say here not received your code if the code is not received just resend it so i'm going to add here a paragraph and in the anchor tag i'm going to just add that link to resend the code so here i'm going to say resend don't forget to add a class to this paragraph so you can style it i'm going to add here link class and just out of this anchor tag i'm going to say or add an anchor tag again specify class to it which is link and here to this anchor tag inside it i'm going to specify call so if the otp number is not received to the user user can request to resend it or call it to that number just save the changes and here you can notice you have the design something like this now let me just add css styling to this code so now to add styling to this page i'm going to back to the style.css and here i'm going to first remove all the padding and margin from all the html elements so here i'm going to select asterisk then select the descendant all elements and then i'm going to specify margin zero and padding is going to be zero and then i'm going to add box sizing which is border box just out of that i want to add font family to this project so i'm going to open a new tab and search for google font and from Google font website, I'm going to select my favorite font and add it to this project. So I'm going to select both these fonts, this Roboto and this Poppins. So I'm going to click on this Roboto and select this regular 400. Back to the previous page, click on the Poppins and select this font family as well, the regular 400 style. Then select the input and copy this input URL. Just copy it, open the unfinished website and up here, I'm going to paste this link like this. And now. Just out of that, I'm going to select the body and to this body, I'm going to select height which is 100% and width is going to be 100%. Just out of that, I'm going to specify background image to this body. So I'm going to just specify here background property and in the URL, in the single code, I'm going to say dot forward slash asset and select the background dot jpg file and I'm going to specify here no repeat let me just save the changes here you can notice i have my background image let me just specify background size to it which is cover save the changes and as you can notice i have the result something like this just out of that i'm going to select the site main the id the main id of the site and then i'm going to specify the minimum height which is 100 viewport height you can notice here i'm using a vh this is the css unit i'm going to specify to this minimum height this will specify the viewport height to this site main selector now let me save the changes and now let me just specify some width and height to this image so just down here i'm going to add a class img fluid and inside this class i'm going to specify width 80 percent and height is going to be 80 percent Instead of specifying this individual style to this image, I'm going to create a class IMG fluid and specify this class to this image. So I'm going to just scroll up and here I'm going to specify class IMG fluid. Let me save the changes. Here I can notice I have the result for what I want. Just out of that, just open this style.css. Just out of that, I'm going to select this class, this one this glass class and specify some style to it so just down here i'm going to say glass and here i'm going to specify some style so i'm going to first specify max width 550 pixel then i'm going to specify width 100 percent and then i'm going to specify padding which is going to be 65 pixel 90 pixel and 45 pixel so I'm going to specify 65 pixel to the top, 90 pixel to the bottom, and 45 pixel to the left and right. Let me save the changes. This will add some padding to this section. So I'm going to just specify this padding to this glass class. Oops, 
I think I misspelled this ID. It is main site, not site main. Just copy this ID and just paste it right here. I just misspelled this ID here. Let me save the changes. And now, just like that, let me just horizontally center this content. I want to horizontally and vertically center this content. So inside this main site, here I'm going to say display flex. Then specify justify content center. This will horizontally center this content like this. And then I'm going to specify align items center. This will vertically center this content as you can notice here. Just after that, let me just create some global classes here so I can use it in my index.html. So just down here, so just out of this image fluid, right down here, I'm going to say dot text center. This class is used to align the text to center. So I'm going to say text align. So if you want to align the text to the center, you can use this class. Just down here, I'm going to say dot padding y1 and I'm going to specify padding top to it 1 em and padding bottom 1 em. I'm going to create this class again and specify padding y2 here and instead of a 1 em, here I'm going to specify 2 em. So if you want to add top and bottom padding, you can use both these classes. Just down here, I'm going to create two classes for the font family. So here I'm going to say font roboto and to this font roboto i'm going to add this font family just copy it and paste it here just down here i'm going to say dot font poppins and i'm going to specify this poppins font family to this font poppins class like this let me close this tab save the changes and just down here let me create some classes for the colors so here i'm going to say text white and I'm going to specify color and specify hex color to it. So I'm going to specify here hex color. Just down here, I'm going to say text light and specify color and specify a light color to this property like this. Just out of that, just down here, I'm going to create link class and specify text decoration none and specify some color to it. And I'm going to just specify hex color to it. Let me save the changes. And now let me apply all these classes to my HTML element. So let me just back to the index.html and apply these classes to these elements. So what I'm going to do is to this h1 heading tag, here I'm going to specify class and first specify the font family. So here I'm going to say font poppins class. When I save the changes, this will add this font family to this h1 heading tag. You can notice here. Just out of that, I'm going to specify text to white. This class will change the color of this title. Just after that, to this paragraph here, I'm going to specify class and specify these classes to this paragraph like this. But instead of text white, here I'm going to specify text light. Just after that, I'm going to copy these classes and paste it to this paragraph. When I save the changes, you can notice I have this styling to this paragraph. Just out of that, let me just add text center to this class. So here I'm going to say text center to center all the text. So this will just align all the content to the center. Just after that, just down here to this H4 heading tag. Here I'm going to add a class and specify this font poppins and this text light class. Like this. Save the changes. Here you can notice I have this styling to this title. Just down here. To this paragraph this one i'm going to specify class and copy and paste the font poppins and text light class do the same for this paragraph as well so i'm going to say here class and paste all my classes you can notice this is the easiest way to specify styling to your html element i'm not going to specify individual styling to all this content instead i'm going to create a class and then specify styling to all these sections just out of that let me just add some padding to this form so to this form, here I'm going to specify class and say padding y2. This will add top and bottom padding. You can notice here. And then I'm going to add some padding to this column as well. So here I'm going to add padding y1. Save the changes. Now just out of that, let me just increase the size of this title. Then let me just style these text boxes and this submit button. So I'm going to back to the style.css and just down here, I'm going to first select the glass class then select the title class and then select h1 heading tag then i'm going to specify font size to it which is 35 
pixel save the changes just down here i'm going to select the glass again then select the form and then select the form control so i'm going to select all the input elements using this form control class you can notice here i already have this class to this input elements i'm going to use this class to style this input text boxes so here i'm going to first specify width 80 pixel then specify padding padding is going to be 0.3 em to the top and bottom and 0.1 em to the left and right just down here i'm going to specify font size which is 25 pixel and border radius is going to be 5 pixel just down here let me just save the changes just down here i'm going to say text align center and specify font family so i'm going to copy this poppins font family and specify that here as you can see the text boxes is ready just down here let me just style this submit button so i'm going to select the class then select the form html element then select the call class and select the btn class you can notice we have this btn class to this submit button i'm going to select that and then specify here with 90 percent then specify padding 0.6 em to the top and bottom and 0.1 em to the left and right then i'm going to specify font family which is poppins so i'm going to copy this property paste it down here then i'm going to specify font size 20 pixel and then i'm going to specify background color and let me just copy here my background color and specify that to this button save the changes just down here i'm going to specify color to it color is going to be the hex value this one and specify border now save the changes and now at the end let me add glass morphism effect to this glass class so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the glass class this one and here i'm going to add some properties so i'm going to first specify background and then i'm going to specify rgb alpha color so here i'm going to specify 255 to the red 255 to the green and 255 to the blue and then to the alpha i'm going to specify 0 0.1 so this alpha is going to make this glass transparent let me save the changes you can notice just down here i'm going to add box shadow and here i'm going to add some shadow so i'm going to say here 10 pixel 10 pixel 80 pixel and then i'm going to add here rgb a color the red is going to be zero green is going to be zero blue zero and alpha is going to be 0 0.3 when i save the changes i'm going to have some box shadow to this panel and just out of that let me add the very important css property which is backdrop filter so let me just add here a comment and say important property so i'm going to just add here backdrop filter and then specify here blur function and to this blur function i'm going to specify five pixel so this will just add blur effect to the background of this panel when i save the changes you can notice this will just blur the background so this will add glass morphism effect to this page so once you add that property it looks amazing i hope you understand how to create this beautiful page using just an html and css don't forget to click on the like button if you find anything useful click on the subscribe button for more latest videos if you have any question just ask me in the comment section of this video that is all for now i will see you in the next one